Hello friends and welcome back to Heimdall's YouTube channel. I am Antonia and today we're getting into a critical topic for anyone managing a network, DNS security best practices. The domain name system is a critical part of how the internet works, acting like the phone book of the web. But just like anything valuable, it needs to be protected. In this video, we'll explore key strategies to secure your DNS, protect your data and ensure your network work runs smoothly and safely. To secure your network, start by enabling DNS security extensions, DNSSEC, which add an extra layer of security by allowing DNS responses to be verified, helping prevent attacks like spoofing through digitally signed data. I said this before, I'll say it again. Regularly update your DNS software to protect against known vulnerabilities as patches and updates fix security flaws and improve overall performance. Implement access controls by restricting the DNS server access to authorized personnel only, using firewalls and the IP whitelisting to control who can query and manage your DNS servers. Use a dedicated DNS server to avoid running other services on it, reducing the attack surface and minimizing the risk of compromise from attacks on other services. Enable logging and monitoring to track DNS queries and responses, regularly reviewing logs for suspicious activities such as unusual query patterns or um, unexpected source IP addresses. Deploy DNS firewalls and filters to block malicious domains and IP addresses and implement content filters to prevent users from accessing harmful websites. Consider using Split Horizon DNS, which employs separate DNS zones for internal and external queries to limit exposure with internal DNS servers handling internal queries and external servers managing public queries. Secure communication channels by using TLS, transport layer security for encrypted communication between DNS clients and servers, and consider implementing DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLS for added security. Use redundant DNS servers deployed across different geographical locations to ensure redundancy and resilience against the failures and attacks. Regularly backup DNS configurations and zones storing backups securely for a quick restoration in case of an attack or failure. Harden your DNS servers by disabling unused services and ports following security best practices for the underlying operating system. Educate and train IT staff on DNS security best practices and emerging threats, regularly updating training materials to reflect new security measures and vulnerabilities. Monitor and respond to threats by using threat intelligence feeds to stay informed about new DNS-based threats and have an incident response plan in place to quickly address any security breaches. External users should not be able to see any data about your primary DNS server. It should not appear in the name service records or respond to any queries. Limit the number of DNS records that are exposed to the public. Never share with the public what version of DNS software you use. Use a at least two DNS servers, a primary and a secondary one, to ensure availability and reliability. Primary DNS servers handle all DNS queries for a domain and store all relevant DNS records. Secondary DNS servers host read-only copies of the zone files. They work as a backup in case the primary ones fail or get hacked. Also, secondary DNS servers help with load balancing. Setting up a secondary DNS server may the risk of denial of service by using a technique called round robin DNS. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this topic or want us to cover anything else related to DNS, make sure you drop a comment below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Heimdall's YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.